Good morning and welcome to Dyson Days where we are raising our children up in the Lord and also a little bit of first time homesteading. This morning we are going to take the opportunity while Evie's taking a nap to go around and do our morning chores and then also we're going to go by the idea of see a need, fill a need. So let's go around and see what needs to be done this morning. There's Kitty. When she comes to greet us, that's usually an indicator that she wants water and food. So we'll go out there first and I'll set down Theo's shoes that need to be power washed. We'll do that. Do that a little bit later. Come on, buddy. Go out to the kittens first. Yep, Kitty's right by my side. They must need more food and water. Oh, they're good on water. And they're already up playing. Here they all come. Oh, looks like some of them are resting on that box spring up there. This is the uh, cabinet that we keep all the bags of food. We've got chicken feed, our bird seed, dog food, all of it. There he goes. That must be how they're getting up there. Yeah, there's a little blanket under the Jeep there. I think some of them like to sleep there. We had these cinder blocks out here. I think they were over there around the fire pit once upon a time. Uh, they like to play in and out of the cinder blocks. It's really, really cute. And then they also like to stay really close to the shop, but kind of along the wall there. So we've kept the grass higher here just to give them a little hiding place you know not easily seen by predators they are so cute and pretty soon it'll be time to find new homes we're thinking about keeping one or two for barn cats they're already doing a really good job of getting the mice. They had a mouse yesterday, which I'm guessing came from Mama Kitty, and then she brought it in here for the kittens, which of course is always gross to walk in on, but that's what they do. So just gotta get used to that kind of stuff. Oh. So for those of you that are new here, this is your first video, or maybe you haven't heard about the kittens yet, but our mama kitty, the barn cat here, had seven kittens on June 9th. And she is just doing amazing, you know, raising them, keeping them safe, and they're still nursing at eight weeks off and on. She is a rock star. Four of them look like her, and three of them are calico. I heard a fun fact someone told us the other day that calicos are all a certain gender. And I can't remember if it's male or female. Looks like our water bucket wandered off. I'll grab that to go top off the dogs and grab Theo's hat. Try to get this mud off of Theo's shoes. There. 
Oh, we'll let Kitty drink for a minute before we go give it to the dogs. <laughs> While we're letting Kitty drink, we'll let you know some of the updates around here. There's mortar in between the stone there. Project going on. Mark is on to the back of the house. He's done all sides and now on to the back. As you can tell, this is what he's done and what he hasn't done. Looks pretty amazing. That way we can keep the snakes and mice out this upcoming winter. And here we had this jogging double stroller in the garage and the kitties were using it. So I had to bring it out here and hose it down and let it sit out here in the sun. And yeah, that's all over. Here we do have a project going on inside. We are putting Evie's room together and getting rid of a bunch of boxes of clothes that clothes we just haven't touched in really since Mark and I have been married, which is coming on three years. So if we haven't touched them in three years, we need to get rid of them. So that can be in another video later on how we are decluttering how much clothes we have and how we are going to pick and choose what we're going to keep or what we need new. Now if we pan over here, we're looking at pasture here and here, but there's a little platform here that you can keep a water trough on. You can see there's a bunch of um, you know, tall grass and weeds growing around it, but it's a really good sized platform. But I would love to put a table out there so that we can have picnics or entertain because we don't have a back patio, just you know this um, porch here, which is nice, but we would like something that we can sit around or you know eat outside. So here in the future will be a table and chairs. Pan this way. You can see the horses out there by the barn. Oh, and the other horses over there. Mark's still got his flag up on the windmill. Kitties are playing ball and wrestling. All right, let's go give the dog some water. On our way out here, I'll show you this truck here has a motor that Mark is going to put into his farm truck that he's, you know, getting ready to use. So for now, it's sitting right there. Now for me, I think it kind of looks like yard trash, but it means a whole lot to him to get that swapped over. So it's still here for now. And I don't know, some people probably have an appreciation those things got a little muddy we can come on over here to our cherry tomatoes got quite a few to pick here Ooh, that one split throw that one for the birds That one did too. I wonder if something's getting to them or they're just not being picked early enough. I don't know, y'all tell me. I have been getting quite a few tomatoes. And they almost feel like so big they're gonna burst. So maybe that, I just waited too long for some of them. But I don't want them to be bursting and still on the plant because that could attract bugs. So I'm gonna pick and toss the tomatoes that are splitting.
I hope the birds like these things. Something will eat it. That one's splitting too. If any of you know, is it safe to be outside while they're out there crop dusting? Okay, now these big old tomatoes here, none of them are turning red yet. Even the really big ones back there, not sure why. But, we'll take a look over here at our bell peppers. Yeah, that one's coming through. That's exciting. Oh, I hear Charlie. There's Charlie. And Phoebes, Phoebes, where are you at? There she is. Let's see if anyone else is sprouting a pepper. see the one so far. Okay. More cherry tomatoes. Got a whole bunch. Now here's a look at one of our potato plants. We have some flowering happening. So that's exciting. Hopefully we can harvest those and we'll have new potatoes. Got our tomato carrier. Something in the grass here looks like a cup. Must have got uh, run over by the lawnmower. Yeah! Here's one of our mulberry trees. Wow, it's been given mulberries all summer. I did not know that it did that. Figured they would all drop eventually, but there's still some that are still ripening. Awesome. Here comes Phoebe. Okay, looks like we're gonna go for a little walk. We put a bucket out here in the middle of the yard. Mark's giving us a thumbs up. We're gonna put the food in here and then go let the dogs out. Go find your food. Thanks for watching us this morning to see a need, fill a need, and get our morning chores done. The dogs are over there playing with the cat. We're gonna go inside and get to the next project. So thanks again for watching. If you haven't yet, subscribe to our channel. That way you know the next time we post a video. Give it a like if you enjoyed this type of video, and we'll see you next time here on Dyson Days.